think about two minions a minion, uh, minute if you want to uh, get those in. They have just swapped, but I guess Udipon will still probably play the support style center. I will say. I, it could honestly some damage, but as I was saying, you're not going to find much around that. Gemini with flash forward. Flash, Aria could be stunned one more auto, but they can't quite get in range. And Whoa. Aria flashed on by Gemini, but he doesn't finish the kill. He's not tanking, though. He gets it. No! Just on the edge of the right. Word to break out. Shun did hit level six, so can get involved with that global ult. Arms here, level six, might you say? And I mean, Gemini's just gonna go down here, surely. He's totally alone. Shouncy goes for a hook as well, but him and Jimmy have gotta get out of here. Steel locks him up, though. And CFO, like you say, they're 80 carries at the bottom side of the map. I don't think that's a fight you should be trying to take. Just off of the passive, so. Unfortunately, Gemini, because he used the flash around mid lane, ends up costing him. But this is what I was talking about, looking for those dives with the Maokai on the turret. Already begun. Jimmy has the dusk blade, trying to use that movement speed. But look at this! That's the reach you were talking about. The long arm of the law oh, coming through. Jimmy and actually gets a kill, and he's got a stopwatch as well. Charm comes through. Gemini flashes out. Jimmy and finally falls, and it becomes a one for one. There's some instant burst potential from oh, CFL. Shouncy might be instantly burst here though, as he's been caught out again. The ultimate going to be popped from Arya to guarantee that kill, and the dark seal is in pocket. That's two stacks. Spike for the rumble. They, they want to fight this. someone up. They could go for a fight. Arms charging forwards, trying to get the CC down. There's the in. equalizer. Big damage, but now a flank on the backside. It's a spread fight, but Steel's the first one to go down. Now answered as Aria got into the back line, but CFO looking good so far. And Somebody they've managed the to group up. They've managed to find themselves in a front to back once more. Shousey just hooks the wall and has to back away again. But Drake is down <laughs> to 600 HP. Finally taken by Gemini. Six to four with the scoreboard. Oh, Shousey! Absolute carnage as it's flash for flash in the mid lane. Alphamed's trying to reset right now. I don't know if he's going to be able to make it out. It's actually two of them. That's two free oh. kills. Harp looks for the turn. He thought he was finding a pick, but he picked himself here and now over the wall goes Apperman but now reinforcements from Jimmy and there's one and it could be another because Apperman he's in no man's land he's in the wrong territory we've already got Shun with one kill on the board and he wants to make it more as well Apperman nowhere to go and take him down for a second without Ari to be there it's tough but they're looking for the dive Jimmy in trouble once again the amount of times this man has been dived this game so far and once again there's just nothing he can do there to you survive go. the onslaught the point is it but uh, yeah, Apperman getting a big push on the bottom side to find a way into this river, but Rest gonna damage. just fall in. Look at this damage coming out from Rest. There's Apperman just trying to fall oh. a prediction from Jimian. The sniper with the shock blast finds that kill. Completely and Steel might be in some trouble if he tries to clear these wards. They found him. That's the jungler as well. Pulled back in. CC in. chain is there, but the health bars getting low on the other side as well. Shun has to turn golden here, and they dive on in. Harp the one to make it happen as Apperman charges into the back line as well. Harp goes down as Jimmy has arrived on the scene. It's a double, triple for him as he shreds those health bars. Apperman trying to go old school, but he's taken down as part of a quadrant. Solo onto the Vi, because they just knew they had it. And yeah. DFM, they're trying to bunker here outside. Oh my word, Ooh. the charm lands. That's damn it. Everfrost is there. He's got a GA. It's a lot used to find this one pick. Can they commit the kill? Can they finish him off? The answer is yes. Equalizer comes down. Time for an answer. Coming out from CFO. And they've got a CC chain of their own. Gemini charging forwards. He turns into a one for one here. CFO trying to get onto the tower, but I don't think they really have the range. Yeah, Apperman died on the bot side. The problem is they have no mid cryo, and they just sent two of their teleports into that bot lane. They need to start up this Drake and they need to force the fight. There's going to be supers running into their base. I thought Jimmy was just going to run up mid there and try and end the game. Harp taking some chunks here. Rest on the front line. Ult still on cooldown for him, but 7k. Still some pretty good damage going down. 7k on the Drake is still looking for the engage, but decides against it in the end. Stopwatch out from Rest as now Gemini charges into the fray. Rest gets back to the rest of his team, but now everyone diving on in Steel. He's gone too deep though, and Gemini keeping the rest of his team at bay. Steel is down, that's the smite out of the picture, and CFO surely finish off the Elder. It's a double kill coming through for Shun, and he'll turn it into three. No, Rest denies it, but it will not matter. A punch. 17 to 10 is our potentially final score. Could see a couple more kills coming through at the end here. But a fantastic start to the tournament for CFO, showing what the PCS second seed is capable of, showing us why they went to five games in their finals, finishing.